the Sacramento Kings clinch their first playoff berth since the 2006 season with a win over the Portland Trailblazers. Let's talk about it. I'm not even a Sacramento Kings fan, but Sabonis, baby. Oh, I am a Sabonis fan. And you know who else? The best fourth quarter player in the league, De'Aaron Fox. Before we start today's video, I want to start a debate in the comment section. I personally think Sabonis is the best player on the Sacramento Kings, except in the fourth quarter. That's when De'Aaron Fox becomes the best player on the Kings. But, Kings fans, who's your favorite? Or, who do you think is the best Sacramento King on this roster? Also, you don't want to hear something that's kind of funny that I heard someone say that they... I heard a journalist on one of the athletic NBA show podcasts say they heard fans were online on Reddit were wanting to start a petition to have a statue erected in commemoration of this team. If that were to happen, I want Malik Monk to be the biggest player in the, of the statues. Now, Sacramento Kings have clinched a playoff spot since the 2005-2006 season with 120 win over the Portland Trail Blazers on Wednesday night. The Kings have 46 wins for the first time since 05 with the six regular season games remaining. They could hit 50. Sacramento has an offensive rating of 118.9, the highest in NBA history. And guess what? Mike Brown's actually a defensive head coach. Like, that's what he's, like, known for. He just became really good at offense. The Kings currently sit at third in the Western Conference with a 46-30 and 30 record. And let's shout out the team. Malik Monk, Terrence Davis, De'Aaron Fox, Chemsey, Matthew. And you guys know I have a Matthew Del Vadova jersey on the Cavaliers because, like, Matthew Del Vadova is one of my favorite players of all time. I might have to get a Sacramento Kings Matthew Delvadova jersey now. Or Kessler Edwards. Yes, a Kessler Edwards. I want a Kessler Edwards one now. And with that being said, <clears throat> Kevin Herter, Devonta Sabonis, Keegan Murray, Kessler Edwards, Davion Mitchell, Rayshon Holmes, Keon Ellis, Alexson, PJ Dozier, Harrison Barnes. Trey Lyles, Emis Keta, Mike Brown. Baby, these Sacramento Kings are good. And look, they scored just 19 points in that first quarter. And then they turned on the Jets and scored 101 points over the final three quarters and holding the Trailblazers just to 60 total points over the final three quarters. Malik Monk paced the Kings in Wednesday night's victory with 19 points. Six assists and six rebounds on five of nine shooting. From three from three off the bench, De'Aaron Fox added 18 and six assists of his own. Sabonis yet had another double-double with 15 and 12 rebounds. Keegan Murray set the rookie record for made threes at 188, breaking Donovan Mitchell's record of 187 back in the 2017 to 2018 season. While dropping 13 points and 5 rebounds and shooting 3 for 7 from 3 point range. This is the 40th game where Sacramento has scored at least 120 points this season. Now, nearly 50 wins sounded improbable this offseason. Especially when the Kings had that 4 game losing streak. Thanks in large part to Mike Brown who's going to be coach of the year. Maybe even unanimously. Sacramento has done an entire 180 in several areas during Coach Brown's first season at the helm. At the end of last season when Brown was on his way to another NBA Finals win as a Warriors assistant coach, lead assistant, the Kings were 25th in net rating, 24th in offensive rating, 16th in points per game. Sacramento entered Wednesday night with the highest offensive rating of all time. First in points per game. Eighth net rating. Mike Brown. You're beautiful. I love you. Sabonis and Fox were both all-stars this season. Fox for the first time. 
and they've played even more deserving of those titles after All-Star Weekend. Maybe even All-NBA. Hey, media members, I'm a journalist myself. Shout out 27 News in Topeka. Beat me, Channel 13. But if I had a vote, I'd be voting for one of these boys. Sabonis, 62 double-doubles are the most in the NBA. He's led the league in rebounds per game at 12 and a half. He's also Sacramento's franchise leader in single season triple doubles. Passing Rajon Rondo's previous record of six in 2015 to 16. I always forget Rondo was a king and had a three point shot when he was a king. Sabonis is on pace to join Will Chamberlain as the only two players in NBA history to average 19, 12, 7 assists at least 60% from the field. Chamberlain did that in the 66 to 67 season. Fox has become the runaway favorite for the Jerry West Clutch Player of the Year award, tallying two game-winning threes this season, the most clutch points, 185 in the league. Fox also possesses the most fourth-quarter performances with 10-plus points this season at 25 in addition to his first-time All-Star appearance and act for scoring during the clutch, Fox is averaging career high in points, rebounds, and free throw percentage, field goal percentage. Now, I don't know why. I think they're going to definitely make it to the second round. But depending on who they face in the first round will determine how we believe this team will go in the postseason nothing against them you just kind of how do you put it we need to see it to believe it in the postseason when things get hard when the games matter can they win games when they can't score that's going to be the big thing I think that's where we're going to leave it, though. This was a long video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully I didn't bore you. Oh, peace out. A-Town style. And let me know what you guys think. And if there was anything else I should have spoken about that you guys would have liked to hear. But, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm done. I hope you guys do have a great day. And... If there was anything else I could have said, let me know. I would have liked to have heard. (laughs) But yeah, nah. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye. Cheers.